numbers and if you talk about random number it is coming as a, uh, images of random outcome in a random experiment in numeric form so all about in model 2 we are dealing with random numbers and if you are having random numbers then there is a probability distribution that we had already discussed so if you are having random number so uh, how can we come up with a representation the representation uh, uh, we are having expectation we call it expectation was defined as uh, how it was defined as a weighted sum of the value of random variables or weighted sum of random random numbers and if you say random number the weight is provided by the probability of observing that random number so f if x is a small x always it is a random number one a specific random number and p of x the value of probability mass function at x it is the probability of observing that random number so that's why we say it is x weighted by the corresponding probability mass function and hence we say that it is weighted sum weighted sum of random number so expectation is weighted sum of random number and it is giving average in uh, layman way you can call it average as a average of given numbers so if uh, weight, weight is uniform in nature what is meaning of uniform in nature that means each number is having equal probability of uh, uh, observation or uh, uh, what we call it realization then we say that uh, if there are n number of uh, numbers random number and each one is having equal uh, chance of uh, being observed then we say that p of x equal to 1 by n that means weight is 1 by n so that one is a very specific case that case we call it uniform discrete distribution okay but if you talk about in general we observe non uniform pattern in the similar way like uh, if people are coming for voting those who are eligible for voting there we see uniform distribution once you have elected a, uh, an mp or mla those what if you talk about distribution uh, from the perspective of common people voters and uh, mp uh, or mla those we call it people representative representator if you if you take all those person together then what you will say that there is no more uniform distribution it becomes non uniform distribution why probably a special that mla mp will have better facilities in various like uh, they can uh, access the, 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 actually people are uh, calling it public servant something like that but they are getting a lot of facility like they are they can make law they they can, they can come up with uh, uh, various proposal of their area uh, various proposal of law they can propose law and those law can be implemented through uh, several process and they, but a common people can't come up with a, a proposal of law or something like that can't propose directly that common people if you willing to propose it will go through some representation or uh, that represented that uh, mla mp so that's why those becomes very specific in nature simply a specification we call it so among the numbers we try to come up with a specification and when we say that distribution there would be no more uniform distribution so expectation is one kind of representation and there are other representation like we call it uh, uh, mean one is mean average same median mode what is meaning of mode if i am asking uh, if i am giving uh, 10 first integers and uh, those things you might have already encountered in your uh, high school mathematics somewhere okay i'm giving you numbers uh, starting from 1 2 3 up to 10 and uh, for this uh, tell me what would be uh, mean or average what would be mean or average what would you mean for these ten, uh, 10 numbers or average compute in your notebook tell me 55 so call it uh, uh, mean is 55 mean generally we denote it by greek letter mu so mean is 55 now what is median can you compute median what is median what what does it mean median in literal meaning what is meaning of median what is median median means if you put number
that uh, I do not know for this side. This side it is working, that side it is not working. So, but what is meaning of median? You have computed median. What is meaning of median? It is not coming. Then focus here this side. What? Okay, so what is uh, uh, meaning of median? What? Middle one. If you put numbers in a order, the median means middle one. Which one is coming in middle? That that is meaning of median. Uh, and uh, what is mode? Anyone can uh, compute mode? What is most? Yeah, uh, mode means uh, which is in fashion, actually that which is very common, occurs frequently, so that is it. So here all numbers are having frequency same. How you will compute mode? So there is a formula, other things you can compute. Literally you can say that which is mode means which is uh, uh, in common, actually. And yeah, and if you are, uh, uh, if you go in higher mathematics courses, there you will see that uh, this computation may take different route through distribution. Like uh, generally when you talk about uh, mean kind of things, you have to proceed with uh, uh, Gaussian distribution kind of noise, something like that. Gaussian distribution, noise is coming from Gaussian distribution or you can deal with uh, a square loss, a square loss kind of thing. If you are willing to come up with median, you have to deal with uh, modulus loss like modulus kind of function or you can talk about Laplace transformation, Laplace sorry, Laplace distribution. That one is mod is related with Laplace distribution in Gauss, sorry, in noise perspective or probabilistic perspective. So there are various things in later you will come to know uh, other things, okay, uh, when you go in higher, higher advanced uh, uh, probability or statistic course that time you will come to know. And those are having again further meaning like that uh, it is not like that what you had studied in uh, your 10th. Now, uh, again I had discussed if you are having x as a function of uh, uh, y as a function of uh, random variable x should I disconnect again and start it whether it will work. Okay, so uh, again, if you are having y as a function of x, where g is a deterministic function, there is no randomness in g. X is uh, also having no randomness, and randomness is sources out from outcome omega. So if you observe x many times, then correspondingly, like x1, x2 up to x, and the correspondingly we will observe g of x1, g of x2, g of x3, uh, like up to g of xn. Uh, so what you do? So here in this case you talk about observation, then we generally come up with the equally likely principle. That means probability of uh, uh, these numbers uh, would be what? 1 by n, if there are n number, uniform principle. So if you, 
approach n is approaching to infinity in that case uh, the empirical average will approach towards uh, expectation of y or g of expectation of g of x so we are talking about expectation of g of x we are willing to compute here we will compute in term of weight uh, weighted sum of y the weight will be provided by expectation of x no sir probability of x so here how we will compute so g of x is what y so it would be expectation of y as per definition of expectation of y just here see that this one is always working expectation of y is what in here definitely x is a discrete random variable so y would be also a discrete random variable so here we will define expectation of y as a summation uh, summation uh, or weighted summation of y the weight is provided by probability mass function of y then if you come to see here probability mass function of y you know that y is image of x so you have to come and you know the probability mass function of x so you have to express probability mass function of y in term of probability mass function of x how you will express you will express it through inverse map of uh, y so this we call it probability uh, value of probability mass function for all those uh, x which are mapped to y so this we call it inverse map it is not inverse function again i am saying it is inverse map we say that okay and here we know that y is what it is one uh, arbitrary y so y is actually uh, image of x so that's why we are writing y as a uh, g of x and here uh, uh, this one is what uh, here summation of all x which are mapped to y so here overall if you try to see uh, it is summation with respect to x it is talking about all possible variation of x uh, all possible all summation with respect to x all possible x where the weight is provided as uh, by this uh, probability okay so finally if you are willing to you are willing to write you will write it g of x time p of x so expectation of g of capital x is what weighted sum of g of x uh, the weight is again provided by probability mass function of x so this we call it expected value rule here you don't have to compute uh, probability mass function of g of x what you have to take just probability mass function of x itself so this we call it expected value rule there are two way one way you can compute probability mass function expectation of uh, g of x by this you call it one approach this we this one is the definition approach of the expectation the second approach we call it expected value rule this one is the expected value rule here you don't need to compute probability mass function of y but here in the first you have to compute the probability mass function of y in the second you don't need this we call it expected value rule a very useful formula uh, it will come and the derivation i have already uh, mentioned it here okay now uh, once you know the expectation so again expectation is not a uh, good uh, it is also not giving a complete representation of random numbers so what you have to talk about you know that uh, uh, random numbers uh, from random variables then you come up with the probability mass function again i am saying that uh, random variable along with probability mass function is not giving a complete information of a uh, random variable then we de define here expectation then again this one is also not giving complete information of random variable random numbers then what we need then we further we need uh, variance variance is talking about variability how much variations are there in the numbers how much variations are there so that variability we call it variability variability we measure it through variance how much uh, data up to what point data is varying what up to what point random numbers are varying um, now here one thing is that random number about a uh, representation number variation of random number about representation that means it is centered around the expectation so the expectation tell us important information about the average value of a random variable but there is a lot of information that it doesn't provide if you are investing in the stock market everyone might be aware of a stock market so, zigzag graph you will see that a stock price is changing a lot uh, with time okay expected so here there if you call about expected return of some of a stock is not the only quantity you will be interested you may also uh, like to get some idea of risk of the investment variability that 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 one is uh, in, measured in the term of variability or variance we call it so, so the typical size of 
fluctuation of a random fluctuation how much random uh, numbers are varying uh, around its expectation we measure it by a uh, another statistical term that we call it variance so variance is all about variability okay so and variance is defined as uh, a square of mean deviated random variable you read it here uh, expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable here you are observing random variable x then you deviate it by mean deviate means subtract uh, then you take a square so that both side deviation would be same like a square so if you take uh, uh, okay uh, it is covering left and right both part okay so uh, it is a square of deviation this one is deviation then you are taking a square and then you are taking mean so variance is defined as expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable mean deviated you are having a random variable x you deviate it by mean and then you do a square and then you are taking a expectation so variance is a square of mean of uh, or expectation of mean deviated uh, a square of mean deviated random variable so if you open it up then what is this one uh, x minus expectation of x it is what it is a function of a random variable so a square of uh, of that uh, deviated random variable is again function of a random variable so you can apply here directly expected value rule so if you are willing to compute this expectation this you can call it g of x what is here g of x g of x is a square function one kind of a square function and define as here as a square of a square of x minus expectation of x to whole square okay so it is g of x now as per computation of uh, expectation of function of random variable how we had computed there through expected value rule that means g of x time probability mass function of x so this one is g of x g of x for one observation of x it would be x minus expectation of x whole square and into uh, probability mass function of x so you can say that it is a uh, weighted average of the function value the weight is provided by probability mass function of x weighted average of function value okay and if you are willing to uh, do little bit algebra here uh, what kind of form it will take it will take it can can be decomposed into two kind of expectation one is expectation of x square minus uh, a square of expectation this decomposition is very simple you can play uh, with this algebra here inside the expectation what you do uh, what would be uh, formula of a minus b whole square here it is x so here a square minus 2ab plus b square same thing you will write it here x square x minus expectation x whole square you will uh, decompose it into x square minus twice of twice of x time expectation of x x time expectation of here a equal to x and b equal to expectation of x and the last term would be uh, expectation of a square of expectation and expectation is a linear operator uh, everyone uh, do you know about matrix how does it act how does it act matrix and what is uh, linear operation means have you seen matrices have you seen the multiplication of matrix with a vector have you seen or not so suppose a is a matrix and you are multiplying a vector with this one it is one kind of matrix multiplication vector is also a matrix but here uh, uh, here x we are taking as a column column vector that means it would be a size of 
सपोज ए इज एन बाई एन मैट्रिक्स और एम बाई एन मैट्रिक्स देन एक्स मस्ट बी एन बाई वन वैक्टर दैट कॉलम फैक्टर मीन्स ओनली कॉलम्स इन फ्रीज आर देयर सो एन बाई वन सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक्स इज ए लीनियर ऑपरेटर वाई बिकॉज इफ यू यू माइट हैव सीन दैट इफ यू अप्लाई मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर टू फैक्टर्स लाइक दिस वे एक्स एंड वाई अल्फा इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई ए स्केलर विथ ए वैक्टर वट वुड बी द वैक्टर इट वुड बी अगेन ए वैक्टर इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई ए स्केलर विथ वैक्टर इट वुड बी अगेन ए वैक्टर एंड वट इज अ स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ वैक्टर दैट मीन्स वी डू मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ अ स्केलर कंपोनेंट वाइज विथ ऑल एंट्री वी ट्राई टू मल्टीप्लाई अल्फा वी मल्टीप्लाई विथ ऑल एंट्री ऑफ एक्स एंड बीटा वी मल्टीप्लाई विथ ऑल एंट्री ऑफ वाई दैट वन इज अ स्केलर मल्टीपल ऑफ वाई विथ बीटा ओके and if you uh, apply matrix over this one and so it will take just the form of alpha time ax okay plus beta time by na a sorry beta time ay beta time ay so what is happening here uh, here matrix is also a linear it is a one kind of function it is one kind it is defining a matrix is defining a function what it is uh, what kind of function it is defining it is defining a function matrix from where to where from rn to rm rn x must be n dimensional vector and ax would be m dimensional if suppose it is m by n matrix m by n matrix so it is going from matrix is defining a map from rn to rm okay rm to rm so that's why you say that uh, the image of x we call it y we don't so it is a map y equal to ax that means it is changing n dimensional vector to m dimensional vector n dimensional vector to m transforming n dimensional vector to m dimensional vector so that's why it is a uh, simply we say that it is a map one kind of function map or function everyone might be comfortable with map because it, it was there in uh, uh, high school and if someone is from hindi you can call it phalan okay so if you are having this kind of map and you are taking uh, scalar multiple of x and uh, scalar multiple of uh, y uh, both are coming from rn and you sum it up sum of two vectors and there again you are applying matrix it is coming as what so you can say that uh, image of it is a linear combination of x and y equal to corresponding linear combination image a linear combination of images so this one is linearity property that means you to say that if it is a line it preserve line if it is a plane it would be a plane linear property that one is linear property so those are linear kind of things it preserve linearity okay it preserve linearity simply in, in simple way likewise expectation is also linear L expectation is also linear operator so how many terms you observe here x square then Minus two of x times expectation of x and plus expectation of x square. I remember that in expectation of a, a random variable is a deterministic number. Why? Because you have you have consumed all the uh, probability there. You have sum. You have taken a sum. Sum with respect to all probability. So expectation is always a deterministic number. When you talk about expectation of a random variable, it is a deterministic number. There is no randomness because we have taken probability mass function of the random number as a weight of the weight in the weighted sum of x random variable so the weight the probability of stochasticity has been consumed there you are just having having a deterministic number so expectation is always a deterministic number okay so if you talk about what is the so it is just de deterministic means it is a certain number what is the probability of observing that mm, expectation one one it is a certain number it is determin deterministic number okay if you are willing to compute here what would be expectation this expectation here uh, in the expectation you are having three terms x square minus 2 of x 
uh, expectation of x plus a, a square of expectation of x. So, what would be the value of this? It would be aspect, it is a linear that means uh, you, it will have three terms expectation of x square minus 2 is a number, a scalar, a scalar number or determination number, there is no randomness, it will come out of the expectation. It is a constant, so it will come out of the expectation. You will write 2 times expectation of x into expectation of x. But again, expectation of x is a determination number, there is no randomness, that will also come out. The, that what is the probability of observing expectation? It is 1, so that will also come out. So, twice of expectation of x will come out and inside we will have just expectation of x. Inside just remaining thing in the second term we will have here uh, 2n, 2n expectation of x come out. So, here we will have expectation of x. So, expectation of x is coming two times. So, it becomes expectation of x whole square. A square of expectation of x. Okay. And here the a square of if I say that expectation is a determination number, if I am asking what is the mean of number 2, what is your answer? I am asking you what is mean of 2 or what is average of a number given number 2? What is average of 2? It is 2 itself. So, why? Because 2 is a determination number. We see 2 with probability 1, it is a determination number. Mean of 2 is 2. Mean of a constant is same number if there is no probabilistic thing. So, likewise, expectation is a uh, determination number. So, a square of expectation is also a determination number. So, if you are willing to find uh, mean of 2 is what 2 and mean of a square of 2 is what 4. So, it would be a, a expectation of a square of expectation, it would be just a square of expectation. So, the last term would be expectation of a square of expectation. So, how many times uh, we observe here expectation of x square? In the two term we so observe expectation of uh, a square of expectation, two term. One is, yeah, so just simplify this uh, thing and what you will get? Simplify this, what you will get? you will get this term, expectation of x square minus, it is minus 2 plus 1, it would be minus a square of expectation. So, you are having uh, a variance, a definition of variance in term of uh, this difference, expectation of x square minus a square of expectation. It is computational formula of variance. This one is the definition of variance and this one is the computational pharma, formula of variance. It will help to compute the variance of a random variable. Now, if you are having two random variable, if you are having two random variable, I am uh, just generalizing variance to covariance. So, covariance how we will define? Covariance of two random variable x and y, it is defined as expectation of product of mean deviated random variable with respect to x and y. So, you can see that expectation of product of mean deviated random variable like if you take here y equal to x, what does it form? If you take y equal to x, it will take this form. If you take y equal to x, what will, so covariance becomes variance. If y equal to x, then covariance becomes variance. And hence, uh, here if you do little bit uh, algebra within the expectation, so you will have here in total four terms. And if you simplify, and then after cancellation, finally you will get uh, covariance of x, y, it is written as uh, expectation of product of x, y minus product of expectation, product of expectation. So, again, this is simplest, this one, this one is the definition of uh, uh, covariance we, of two random variable we call it, uh, this one is the working or computational definition uh, form of uh, covariance. This one is through which we compute the covariance. Okay. Likewise, what I had told that this one is computational form of variance uh, and this one is the definition. Okay. So, we will go for few examples. So, simplest example we had seen a Bernoulli random variable or Bernoulli distribution that uh, with probability of success P. That means what is the probability mass function of a Bernoulli distribution, probability Bernoulli random variable? It is 
p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x, where x is observing two value, either 0 or 1. So this is the Bernoulli distribution we had already discussed. And if I am asking you to compute uh, expectation of x, what does it mean expectation of x? That means it is sum of uh, weighted random variable that weight is provided by this will. So x is observing just two values, 0 or 1. 0 with probability. What is the probability of observing 0 in the Bernoulli distribution? 1 minus p. So 0 into 1 minus p plus uh, 1. What is the probability of observing 1? p. So it is what would be this component would be 0 just we will have p. Remember that here you are fixing p. So that is why expectation is equal to probability of success. In Bernoulli random variable expectation is equal to probability of success. Now next you have to compute variance. So in order to compute variance you can go for definition that might be a complicated approach. So simplest one is that what? Just recall the formula of uh, variance. It was, it was what? In computation formula was, it was this difference expectation of x square that we call it second moment because power 2 is coming minus a square of expectation. So you have already computed expectation. So just you will look for expectation of x square. Compute the expectation of x square easily you can compute variance of uh, x. Okay. So what is expectation of x square? That means expectation of x square, but it is as per expected rule here. What is x square? It is function of x. G of x equal to x square. So here we will write it. G of x. G of x is what? X square into distribution of x. That uh, p of x. So what is? So if you are taking so x is observing just two values, zero or one. So you, if you are taking x equal to zero. That what is a square of 0? It is 0 itself. Uh, what is the probability of observing 0? It is 1 minus p. So that is why we are writing 0 into 1 minus p. Plus, what is a square of 1? It is 1 itself. And what is the probability of observing 1? p. So it is 1 into p. So expectation of s square is also coming as p. Okay. Now we will compute variance. Variance is what? It is expectation of x square minus square of expectation. So here we will write it p into, sorry, p minus p square. Expectation of x square we have computed it, uh, p and expectation of x is also p. So here uh, as per formula it is p minus p square. So you have to take common p. You will have p into 1 minus p. That means what is the variance of a uh, Bernoulli random variable? It is product of probability of success and probability of failure. Product. It is product of p, q. If, uh, p you are calling it probability of success and q you can call it probability of failure. So it is P into Q. So this we call it uh, variance. So we have computed uh, variance. Also we have computed uh, expectation both. Just another example I will take then I will go to tutorial. Just 15 minute time I will give. So now another random variable why take as a binomial random variable? Binomial random variable. What is the distribution of binomial random variable? It is n choose here y. We have taken notation y. So n choose y p to the power y 1 minus p to the power n minus y. y is object value, value n plus 1 values. What are those values? 0, 1, 2 up to n. It is talking about number of success in n Bernoulli trial or uh, in n coin tosses. Okay. So what is the expectation of y? It is weighted sum of y. The weight is provided by the binomial distribution. So it is just very simple kind of summation. If you sum it up, uh, uh, smartly, it is just uh, dealing with binomial theorem. You can uh, binomial theorem. It is coming uh, smartly. Then, if you sum it up, then it is coming n times p. The expectation of a binomial random variable is equal to n times p. This uh, this play you have to do it. It is just little bit algebra, and everyone might be aware of binomial theorem. What is that? Uh, a plus b to the power n. It is equal to what? You are writing in term of summation. Summation is coming, so summation is also here. It is coming like so. It is dealing with binomial theorem, and from there easily you can establish uh, right. It is n time p. You can take uh, here from here you can take n outside and p one p outside y minus p will be remaining. So here what n minus one choose y minus one p to the power y minus one and one minus p to the power n minus y minus one all in together. So it is talking about what uh, yeah. It is uh, uh, n, n time p you have taken. So it is talking about uh, uh, simple uh, p plus 
वन माइनस पी टू द पावर एन माइनस वन वट इज वैल्यू ऑफ पी प्लस वन माइनस पी टू द पावर एन माइनस वन पी प्लस वन माइनस पी इट इज वन एंड वन टू द पावर एन माइनस वन वट इज दैट वैल्यू वन सो दैट्स वे जस्ट एन पी यू हैव टेकन आउट एन पी टाइव वन सो द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वाई इज एन पी वट इज इन ऑर्डर टू कंप्यूट एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर यू हैव टू गो इन द सिमिलर वे यू हैव टू परफॉर्म इन द सिमिलर इन द सेम वे देन इट विल गिव वेरियंस ऑफ वाई सो एज पर फार्मूला वेरियंस ऑफ वाई वुड वी वट एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स वाई स्क्वायर माइनस स्क्वायर ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वाई एंड इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई इट इज टेकिंग वेरी सिंपल फॉर्म एंड टाइम पी जस्ट लिटिल बिट कंपिटिशन यू हैव टू डू वन माइनस पी सो डू यू सी एनी रिलेशन विथ बर्नौली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन बर्नौली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू ऑब्जर्व एन इक्वल टू वन इन बायोनिमियल यू ऑब्जर्व एन इक्वल टू एन सो इफ एन इक्वल इफ यू टेक एन इक्वल टू वन इन बायोनिमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट बिकम्स बर्नौली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन it becomes so that approach so it is binomial is generalization of bernoulli what we call it n time you have taken bernoulli distribution like that so both are having very similar framework please okay so other thing we will discuss in next class few more competition and we will start in next class continuous random variable so you have